Hi everyone! Welcome to the video Troubleshooting the API issue. Let's begin. In the previous video, we logged the bug because we expected to receive 200 OK response but received 404 not found instead. And we are not sure if it is the real bug or because of the bad requirements we made some mistakes. Let's investigate this. And we don't have a lot of information to investigate. We have two screenshots. There is one thing which we can say for sure. These requirements are not good requirements. You can barely call these requirements. And we are going to use informal test techniques on this project. Let's check the response screenshot one more time. Even with this type of requirements, we can say that something went wrong. We expected to see the 200 OK response code. Instead, we got 404 not found. Something went wrong. The question is, what? There are only two main possibilities here. We found the real bug or we did something wrong. There are plenty of things you can do wrong with the API testing, especially when your specification is the screenshot. Let's check. The last time when we checked the image of the request, we didn't pay attention to all the details. And if we look at the bottom of the screen, we can see one of the important features of the Swagger. When you send a request using Swagger, it automatically generates CURL for you. We don't have the Swagger, but we can see the CURL on the image. The image is cropped, but we can see the URL which were sent. Let's compare the CURL in the screenshot to what we have in the postman. The green one is the Swagger URL, and the white URL is one that we sent with postman. And we can see that there is a small difference. V2 is URL on the Swagger screenshot, and we don't see it in the postman address bar. That is why we received a 404 error. Let's fix our URL and send the request. There we go, we got 200 OK. The response code is exactly what we expected. But when we check the body, it looks a bit different. Let's compare it to the image. The body is similar but not exactly the same. This is a question to the product owner, and we will ask it in the future. So, we have some progress and it took a lot of time. If we would have proper requirements, we would do this in one minute. But this is the reality on a lot of the projects. The requirements are not in good shape at all, but there is a positive effect from it. If you can test without requirements or with bad requirements, then it will be easy for you to test with good requirements. So we get the valid response code and invalid response body. What we are going to do next? First of all, let's save the request to the postman, and we are going to save it in a different way than in a previous video. As I said, we will learn the postman tool step by step in real scenarios. Let's expand the left sidebar. Once the sidebar will be expanded, you will see a lot of information. But we are interested in this button, New, for now. Let's click on it. And the Create New dialog is opened. As usual, there are a lot of items you can create. And we are interested in the collection for now. Let's click on it. As you see, Postman has created an additional new collection for us. If you hover over it, you will see the hamburger menu. Let's click on it. And again, a huge menu is opened, but all we want to do is to rename our collection. Click on Rename option in the list. Here we go, our new main collection is created, Swagger Pet Store Collection. Let's save the request to it. Click on the Request tab. The request screen is opened, and now we need to click on the Save button. And this time our collection is displayed on this screen. Click on the Pet Store collection. And final step. Click on the Save button. That's all. We are redirected to the main screen. And we can see that the request is saved to the collection. And I will rename it in the same way we renamed the collection. Here we go. The request is saved. What is next? Coffee? Not a bad idea, actually. While we are drinking coffee, we recall one thing. We locked a bug in the previous video. But it is not a bug, 
it was the issue on our side. Let's close the defect report. When you open the bug ticket, you realize that you are still blocked, just with a different issue now. The response body is not the same as we expected, so you update the defect report. And you don't need to change that much. You change the summary to explain the response body is invalid. The steps remain the same. The actual result is changed. We need to upload a new image of the Postman screen. The expected result remains the same. That's all. The bug is updated. What's next? We just drank a coffee. We don't want a new one. Good practice is to write a test to the opened bug. And that is what we are going to do in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like coffee or a coffee shop, leave a thumbs up, if not thumbs down. See you in the next video.